where do you think we go wrong in the labeling these uh, emotions and then our inability to communicate them with others when we really need it? Well, I think there's, uh, for one thing, there's a kind of emotional burnout that comes from not being able to express or even inhabit the emotions that we actually feel. There's a lot of labor that's involved in suppressing what we're actually feeling. And also, you know, there's a reason that we talk about truth and beauty as the as the highest values. And we want to be able to tell the truth to ourselves and to others about what we're experiencing. But when every message you're getting is don't tell the truth, you know, someone says, how are you? You say, great. You're going out in public, wear a smile. These are all ways in which we're not telling a kind of emotional truth and that takes a toll. But the other toll it takes is not only on ourselves, but on our ability to connect with each other because we have a bunch of different ways of connecting on profound levels. And some of those ways have to do with joy. You know, like if you think of um, people coming together to dance in a festival or, or dancing in general, that's like a, that's like a, a bonding through joy. But there's another kind of bonding that we do that's through sorrow. And we're designed to do this. We're designed evolutionarily to respond to each other's sorrow. Someone tells their story, something sad they're feeling or that's happened to them. Other people are going to react with compassion almost despite themselves. Um, we, we, we have the vagus nerve. This was discovered by Dacher Keltner at Berkeley. He's this amazing psychologist. And our vagus nerve, it's an incredibly important part of our bodies. It, it governs our breathing and sex drive and digestion, and also our compassion. So when you see somebody expressing distress in one form or another, your vagus nerve is going to become activated and like long to be closer to them and help them and be with them. So a culture that's telling us not to express any of this is a culture that is leaving on the table all these chances that we have to come together. The story you told earlier about the girl who had, was it her father that she had lost? And then she went to school and where she tried to play it off and, and put on a happy face socially for those around her. It seems to me, I, I don't know if there was any correlation that, that suppressing those feelings had impacted her in other ways, such as developing bulimia. And if, if we're unable to express ourselves properly, how are all those overwhelming emotions going to come out? If you don't have a, a proper medium to express yourself in that way, it can impact you negatively too. It can make you sick. Or you could end up taking it out on other people around you um, and sometimes without even realizing that that's what you're doing. You're not quite aware of it. Yeah. 